Welcome to today's video on broomstick dislocations. This is an awesome uh, mobility movement for the entire shoulder complex and a great strengthening movement for the shoulder. What we're going to do to start off with is we're going to get a broomstick. You can start with just the broomstick. Obviously, Austin is a little bit more advanced with his training, so we add a little bit of weight to the bar. If you are going to progress with weight, make sure it's always 1.25 kilos at a time. So starting with the movement, you can see Austin has his arms nice and locked out straight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to begin to raise the broomstick up and around the body, making sure that as we do the movement, we're trying to protract the shoulders as far forward, reach up as tall as we can before coming all the way behind the body, reaching back as far as we can to that bottom position. Now I'll get Austin to come back to the starting position again. Very nicely done. So you can see Austin has quite a controlled tempo when you do this. A lot of people seem to really rush their reps. Not a good idea. If we are putting the shoulder in some unstable positions to help build strength in those ranges. So make sure you control the ranges and make sure you own them. Some key things that you want to focus on is, first one is going to be through the abs. So I'll get Austin to turn sideways and face that way for me, or that way. As we begin to reach up over the head with the broomstick, which I'll get Austin to do now, you can see Austin keeps a compressed rib cage. If he wasn't going to, he would hyperextend to show what that would look like. And he's gonna let that go, which will make it easier, but it's gonna make the exercise less effective. So make sure we always keep that compression through the abs when doing this exercise. Uh, the second one is gonna be, when people come down to the bottom of the reps, I'll get you to come right down to the bottom you'll notice that they tend to let go with their hand and just hold on with their thumbs. So what happens when that happens is the shoulder internally rotates and we actually lose the stretch we put through the chest when we do that. So we wanna make sure we keep that firm grip. We're in the back end of the movement. I'll get Austin's come back over to the top. Lovely finishing there. So this is great uh, before you start a workout. You can finish with them, but I prefer to start with them because it helps to open up the shoulder um, and warm the shoulders up nicely. Generally, three sets of 10 reps is a great starting place for most people. Thanks for watching.